kindly switch your mobile device to the silent mode. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of IEC 2016, it's my pleasure to once again welcome you to the International E-Learning Conference. Um, my name is um, Dr. Tirawadi Thangkabut, currently is a lecturer at the Department of uh, Educational Technology Faculty of Education, Jularlongkorn University. I'm a chairperson for these sessions. So everyone, please welcome the first presentation is The Secret Weapon for Thai Education from Google, uh, Ms. Supatida Prompayak. Program Manager, Google Asia, Asia Pacific. Please welcome. Hello, hello. Hi, good afternoon. So I'm not sure, should I speak Thai or English? Or, uh, I can do both. <laughs> Is that fine? <laughs> no problem, I'm very welcome. Yes, yeah, so because it's called like international conference, so there's no problem. Okay, so that it seems like you meet a new person, not the previous girl talking in Thai previously, right? Okay, <laughs> okay, ka. Um, if you don't mind, I I uh, may I just mix Thai a bit so that I have some cute character in Thai too, right? Okay, ka. So just call me Pui. Pui Supatida, is that easy? Okay. Um, okay. So today I have only like maybe thirty minutes to talk about what's new, what's going on, and then the next session will be very exciting that everybody waiting for. So I keep it secret for now. Everything is secret, so there's nothing <laughs> to sell. Okay, so I'm the program manager of uh, Google Southeast Asia Pacific. So my focus is actually right now is what I just mentioned on Chrome OS. This is a big bet that there's a lot of things integrated, how the technology will be integrated in, uh, in, in education in the future. Right, we are here, I mean, that's why we are here. I'm sure that most of you are teachers, right? Yes, so we are creating a future kids, building them to be somebody, and it seems to be like Google also having the same goal, how we can be a part of creating a future entrepreneurs, astronauts, or whatever. So think about like when you were young, right? Everybody has a dream. One thing that I have, so many questions come to me. Hey, why? Why Google is entered to be in education segment? If you mean, when you talk about Google, everybody thinking about search. Google. <laughs> but why? Why education? If you have known for the last five years, we have been working a lot with education segment, introducing lots of technology in education. And the question is, why? This chart shows the number of applications sending to Google. Application that want a job in Google, you're thinking about two or three million applications a year. And one thing that we find out, only 0.5% falling into the application that be able to pass through the process for selections. What I mean is the list of the soft skill, or what it is, how come from that two or three million applications is not going through. So we're talking about what's going on, and that's why we come up with the research, with the economists thinking about how can we prepare the kids for the future? Because actually the company like Google still be hiring a lot. We shut off the people, we need the people, but it got to be a people who has the skill we need as well. Google to that's the start of why Google is so seriously to focus and would like to help leverage and transform education because we need a good people to work with us as well. So we start with the research. And we find out a couple things that's quite interesting. 60% of the students 
they don't know yet what is the job in the future. What I mean, like, you're thinking about when you were young, and I can give me an example. When I'm a student, Google is not born yet, right? I am not even know I'm being here working for Google when I study in the university or even in high school. So I am not even know what skill is need to be an employee in Google. So that's one thing. Thinking about the kids who is studying with you in the university, when they graduate, there might be a new job, new things coming up. Even startup, that is the popular word right now. We are not even know what should be the curriculum in the past, right? But right now, we need a startup. That's what the government talking about. So that's one thing. And the second thing, people change job, six or eight jobs during their work life. And I got one good example, myself. I'm falling in that statistic. <laughs> so introduce myself again now. I work with Google, but my background is spread around. I'm graduate. I mean, my bachelor degree is full science. My master degree is business. And now I'm working on my PhD in educational technology. Totally different. My job, my first job, maybe with McDonald, utilize my full science plus my MBA, <laughs> try to be. And then I move on retail business with Nike, working as a regional marketing for Nike for a while. And then go to the bank business in the digital. And then I'm back here working with Google for four years. If you think about the path of learning, one thing that we find out from the research as well, it's not about what you learn. It's about the soft skill we need in the job. So, and that's going to be the question on how the teachers, <laughs> how the educator, and who, that's why everybody here today. And go back to the question for Google as the innovation company as well. How can we have the technology to help building this skill? It's hard, no, Ajahn? You did it. Me, dek, ma. Look, I don't know. Man, sitting in the room. We said that to teach them to have the skills to have problem solving. So it's not easy to just like having the kids in the classroom and then throw the responsibility to the teachers build their problem solving skill. So. This is a part of what we have to work together. And I will show you the tools. I don't want to say like a weapon. It's maybe a, yeah, a weapon to how we can build this skill. It's not only for to work for the company, but I think this skill can let the kids survive <laughs> in this world. So you think about the problem solving, and that's the reason why I start this session with a question. Without a question, the kids cannot have the, cannot have the thinking process on how to solve the problem. So there's a lot of things that we can think about. I'll be back again. And I will show you the first tool today about the way of thinking. Did you know who's get used to this? Anybody knows? Can I, I would like to have more time so that I can play around because I don't want to teach the answer, but yeah, we have such a short time, right? So this is the beta screen of Google when we first launched Google Search. But there is a question. OK, I, I should have some. Do you know, like before we use the name Google, what is the name that they use? <laughs> OK, I'll come back later. OK, this question may be too difficult. Don't worry. It's backrub. <laughs> you know about that, right? That name, that how Google is start by two guys. Larry Page and Sergey. So they are thinking about how to help the people find the information they want. So that's how we start the company. It's all about thinking about the question and how to get the answer. So the first thing that I would like to share, the philosophy that is very useful. So the tools is not just the technology. For me, frankly say, I love this device, I love Google. But the most important part starts with the way of thinking. So we have the philosophy of 10x. Have you heard about this? If somebody, OK. So we, talk, we think about like when we come up with the things to solve, 
what, how, how you set the goal? Or how do you set the sales goal? Okay, this year we are going to increase the sales by 10%. Is that going to make any difference? For example, the attitude of having the Google self-drive car is come from 10x. Think big. How can you make a 10x change? So we, everybody in Google have been trained to thinking about make a big difference, 10x from the situation here. If you want to solve the problem, you're thinking about how you can make a big change. Like for example, like the car I mentioned, if we are assigned to improve the oil consumption or the gas consumption by 10%, so 10 kilometers per liter, 10% is just 11 kilometers per liter. Sometimes it's just the same engine. You can drive, uh, drive a bit better or tune the engine a bit. That's help, right? But if you think about 10x, which means the engine need to consume the gas about 100 kilometers per liter. And that's changed the world, changed the way of thinking, changed the way of how we create the things. So this is this thinking philosophy also create the creation, the, the creation that what are the skills that also missing as well. So that's why I will always start with this one that whatever technology or whatever weapon I'm gonna show you today, it's gonna it's not gonna change the world until we change it here first. The way of thinking. Because it's not just only Google has the weapons for the teachers, for the education. There are so many tools outside there. But start with your mindset and goal. What are you going to do? What is your X? So that's the equation. Have you had your X yet? Why are you coming here? <laughs> what do you think that technology will share? And what is the X? in your equation what to change. So that's the first thing that I would like to share because if you think about this search, we come so far today, right? Everybody has a phone, right? If you think about one small company starting in the garage, from 10x, they can come to, okay, Google, where am I right now? Here's a map of Angna. How can I get home? Oh, okay, Google first. <laughs> so um, you can use everything. And this is start from search, right? From the browser search. With these two guys in the garage. Oh, I'm not sure I have this one wrong way. That's okay. So right now, next to you, you have the mobile that you can ask, search, and find so many things. So this is how the way we start and then with 10x thinking. We develop lots of tools. But it depends that actually there's a lot of teachers also utilize this tool in education and become like a lot of, I will show you a couple cool things later, but if you're thinking about in 1998 only, we are so young, Google still be a very teenager <laughs> and maybe the oldest will take off my eyeglasses so I'll make you look younger. <laughs> บริษัทเล็กๆที่ตั้งเมื่อปีไม่กี่ปีมันพันเก้าร้อยเก้าสิบแปดประมาณนี้ไม่กี่สิบปีโตมากมาจนมีโปรดักต์มากมานะครับเ
ดี๋ยวนะคะมันไม่ไปแวบนึงเอ๊ะโอ้สัจากคนสองคนที่โรงรถนวัตกรรมใหม่ๆชอบเกิดขึ้นที่โรงรถนะคะ This all, most of the innovation start from the garage <laughs> จากวันนั้น search from that day since now what I just showed you there are so many tools that you can utilize in education already If you think about tra Google Translate we improve a lot already okay <laughs> And there's so many things that you can also motivate the kids to think about thinking about the question and find the answer through technologies. Okay, I will have some stats for you. That's why it's so important about that. But this is how the innovation start. It's not from a big, nice room at that time, and we grow up. But it start from here. It start from some small idea. And start from the picture of your mind. And that's on that day, a small company from the garage like Google become a, I say like one of the biggest company today. Okay, so that's why I telling the one of the greatest tool that we have already is Google Search. I'm not sure we use it good enough. Can we motivate it? For the kids to work on it, good enough. I have some nice example on how Thai people doing a search. I'm not sure you know this tool. So this is my third or fourth tools already of the weapon for you for education already. Remember, we start with 10x thinking. We have the tool search through all the mobile. We talking about like Google Translate that you may already integrate in your class. And this is Google Trends. Have you heard about this? I can show you. I have not much time, but use my keywords to go back and search for more information. Google Trends will bring you to understand the situation of the market much better, and you can also explore insight and run the comparison keywords on what you need. Okay, so technology is already there. It's already there, but what people, how people utilizing the technology. Okay, so I'm not sure, uh, uh, Mr. Um, you, can you read Thai? So I, 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 I don't, okay, no problem. But I'm just showing the Google Trend, but it's a funny thing that Thai people will learn. So can you guess that red, uh, that red uh, keyword? Do you know? Everybody knows already. Okay, it's a lot of result. So. <laughs> Normally, I will have you play around with it, but yeah, the green is it about education. Um, the blue one, games. You did that, right? During high school, I mean, during the school break in October. And actually, I have one more keyword. I have uh, another key, uh, the music. Music is also very high, higher than the game. But nobody beat the lotto. <laughs> if somebody find, um, more keyword on what Thai people is searching for, so you let me know. <laughs> so this is how maybe you can run around with these two. It's quite interesting. So you can go like go Google Trends and then you find out what is the most popular keyword right now. I find out, I check it out this morning. Uh, so this, this is how Thai people consume the content and that's why I'm paying more attention about the way of thinking and the mindset, how can we motivate the self-learning attitude for the people. Because I don't need to update you much on the new innovation. It's already there. It's already it's ready for the student. But how we can motivate them to be more interested in education? OK, I have one cool thing in a short run, so this is why. Imagine the awesomest thing you can, like an automatic grilled cheese maker, or a time machine, or a time machine with an automatic grilled cheese maker. Now imagine who's going to invent it. Him, glasses here, whoever they are, or maybe her. But how do kids like these become the types of people that do things like this? Maybe we should ask this guy. Knowledge is heavy. Sometimes it's a limit to to have new ideas. That's the problem with the 
old schooling because they were teaching answers. I believe questions are probably more important today than the answers. Erno's cube is a question waiting to be answered. And when the right person finds the right question, something amazing happens. They start seeing the world as it truly is. Not a place to be memorized, but a place to be figured out, flipped, turned, twisted, and ultimately made better forever. Today, she may be an octopus, but help kids like her fall in love with problem solving, and they will embark on journeys to become scientists, artists, engineers, designers, inventors, or something no one's ever been before, but you can bet we're gonna need. That's why moments like this, go, and this, and this, and especially this, are so important. Because there are companies to found, planets to walk on, time machines to invent, a future to be made amazing. We may not know what it's going to look like, but we know who's going to do it. Okay. So that's all about why I always start the session with questions. I love the questions. We are trained to start with all the questions. And that's why I ask you why you are here, what you want to know, what you want to learn from me and from Google. So, you know, utilize this session to ask any question you want to learn today. So, everything is here, and that's why it's more about the way of thinking. So that's one thing, and for Google, what we are talking about, that technology is no longer a privilege. There's nothing special, right? But it's more about right now how we can have the technology to access to everybody. So this is the basic thing. So we talk a lot and what the program of Google for Education have been running in Thailand is more about helping the access to the information and content. There's a lot of things that we can do and there's something that we cannot do <laughs> and need your help for everybody. So we start a program in this country with access infrastructure, providing the free applications and so on. But as I mentioned, so how can we thinking about motivating with a creative content or with the creative instructional design? How can we pull some of their terms that going back home, to watching the, the soap opera things to turn back to have their own question and figure out the answer? So I think this is not just only the weapon, so that's why. Okay, so the weapon and the tools that we were working on, I would like to share into three things on right now what Google is working on the education. The first one, the products. You may have heard Google for education, that's a part of the product we are working on. We are working on the cheap, uh, well, I mean, affordable Chromebook so that everybody in this world can have the device to access the information. So we have so many products, especially like free platform, even like YouTube, it's also a part of the product that right now we are the product that I mean, contains so many education contents. So you think about this is our mission to build and transformative tools for teaching and learning. And that's why we have the new innovation like Google Classroom, a specific product for classroom is the part like a LMS so that the teachers can have more engagement in the classroom. The second thing, so we have um, the loss of program. And one thing that why I mentioned, I would like to mention a program in, in this room. Lots of time when we launched the program and actually in APAC, we have less participants from Thailand. <laughs> I have a hard time finding the people from Thailand to get the scholarship. We have the, uh, we have the candidate from so many countries that submit the application. So one thing, go back to the search. I'm not sure how many people thinking about searching this kind of thing, about education related benefits for their life. So it's interesting that the scholarship is there. I got the email, <laughs> hey, is there any candidate from Thailand? What's going on? How come none from Thailand? A lot from Malaysia, from Indonesia, from Singapore, from Philippines, and from everywhere. 
Yeah, so that's that's one thing. So actually, we have so many programs like Google Sign and Fair, and we have so many stories that I can tell that you know the kids who win the Sign and Fair sometimes they also utilize the research from Thailand, but no representative from Thailand to be there to present that research, for example. So that's the things that everything is already there. Why? why the students or even Thai people don't spend time to access those type of content. Language may be one thing, we all know that, but that's why. If you're thinking about the question and you come up with the answer, so that's the solution that we need to walk through together, right? But the program is there. We have code.org. We have so many programs that Google is running, and I would like to help the Thai people to involve, to involve more and more. And yeah, so we invest a lot in education. If you think about the R&D cost to, in, to create the products, that's a lot, including the program, right? So this is how and what, okay, I will go fast for now, let's see it's the time. So this is the summarization on what I just mentioned. If you're talking about the product side, I already mentioned about Google Apps, Google Classroom. What is expeditions? I forgot to bring <laughs> to bring it, but it's all related to VR. T people talk a lot about VR. Yes, Google too, like virtual reality. And I can show you in the video instead. But okay, start from Google Apps. So this is okay. Google Apps for Education บ้างไหมคะหรือยังไม่เคยใช้ไม่น่าจะมีแล้วนะคะเพราะว่าตอนนี้มันเป็น solution ที่ทุกคนสามารถที่จะใช้งานได้ It's free. It's no apps, <laughs> and this is the same enterprise grade that Google, the Google like me also using this and a lot of company is utilizing this. We have Google Drive and especially for education is unlimited space for you to store your content and we have the total support. So we have all of this here. This is long time ago. I just would like to tell that whatever technology that I mentioned today, it's just a part that allow the teachers to free up your time so that you can work more on the teaching pedagogy or creating a content. So if you find any technology or tools that waste your time or <laughs> too hard to work with, I don't think that is good, right? So that's why the key thing is it's easy, it's simple, and those is the right, I mean, that's gonna be the right technology that is fit in your TPAC model, that how technology is integrated into the model that when you are utilize technology, it's not just technology, it's a, to be a part that integrate in your teaching process. So I think this is more important about um, instructional design, right? We have the YouTube video, but if you don't have the proper instructional design, that's gonna be too boring opening the video for the kids for about two hours. So I think the most important part that I would like to focus is more about how you're gonna looking for the hook video in the beginning, how can you integrate, or even the flip classroom to assign what kind of video so that they can chip some time from the other things that they're looking for from the internet to be, to the use, so to be a useful content. So that's the part and that's the goal. Okay, so those two that I uh, mentioned to provide, when people talking about free things, they don't like, oh, is it not a good quality? But I would like to say that this is exact quality we are selling to the enterprise that using the Google app for education. Okay, so this is like a lot of big logo that you mentioned. And the key thing is, how many device you are carrying? ดูของของของปุ้ยเป็นตัวอย่างก็ได้นะคะทุกวันนี้แบก device นี่น่าจะ4 5เครื่อง I have maybe more than 5 6 device Who is carrying one device No way Right and how we can have the seamless integration of using the information and that's the beautiful of Google product I love it When I chat something on Hangouts I can also go back to my I also have two phone or maybe three actually so this is the key that is multi-device. Google product is designed to be working with multi-device. I love Lie because um, everybody loves Lie, but when I change the phone or I can, I mean, that's one thing, but 
this is what I just mentioned that is seamless <laughs> use for multi device and it doesn't matter of the OS as well. So look up for fits fits well for everything. ใครใช้อันนี้บ้างแล้วมั้ยคะใช่โอ้นี่จังอาจารย์ขึ้นมาสอนหน่อยเถอะหนูก็ไม่ค่อยเก่งเพราะว่าไม่ค่อยได้ส
account. We have so many news that about the hacker hacking your account. So you're thinking about like, there should, should there be like some curriculum or something in the classroom that teach the kids how important of the security and privacy. Even some password. I met a lot of schools share the same password for the, for the student to use the same account. So this is all about like, it's the one of the most scary thing, even like scarier than cloud. I lost my phone once, but I have the application called Manage My Device, and I set up that I can go to my computer, and I just said that, hey, I lost my phone. So whoever turned on my phone and tried to get into the internet, all the information must be gone. I use the magic. So it wiped out to the factory setting. And I can do this only the information in cloud. And that's great, that's good enough because I don't store anything in my phone. I use Google Photo only, nothing stored here. I'm thinking of, oh, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Most of the celebrity, all the pictures, not come from the cloud, it's from the device here that they are cracking from the storage. So you, when we talk about the security, so I think it's not about, pretty much about the technology. The first challenge is the people. So how can we grow them up to understand this correctly, right? Okay, so that's why I already mentioned on the pre-session that whatever Google thinking, we're talking about scalable. So the Google focus is not just only for premium high-end. We're thinking about the equality in education. We're talking about how can we help everybody can support the tool to access the content. So that's why I just mentioned that when you have, you're thinking about K-12 school, we're talking about application for uh, 8 million kids throughout the country. If you're having one application to install throughout the country, what are you going to do? Send the hard drive or we have some content that, hey, we would like to share this to all the K-12 in grade 6, for example. What is the old days? So you put in the hard drive, sending, chip, EPS. Sometimes it sits in somebody's desk. <laughs> the content is not reaching the student. So the way of Google thinking, this is, is how the cloud computing concept can help access and equality in education. If you have any information or application, with one click, it can just show into your screen. The tool is already there. I'm not sure how Google for Education or even Gmail has been implemented in the communication in the school yet. I'm not sure, even in the university, so every time in the morning, any communication, it's, I mean, a formal, uh, formal communication is already settled in the email. So I think a lot of simple things that we can do it better, right? Okay, so this is how um, the device is being created. And if you're thinking about why Rust, this is one interesting thing. I have a hard time talking to the retail store because they need the margin and the profit. But selling Chromebook, they cannot sell the antivirus software. Normally, the antivirus software is the most <laughs> margin that the retail store need to sell, right? And when Chromebook is sell into the store, oh, they don't like it that much. <laughs> so you're thinking about that. When you buy one laptop, there's a lot of cost in terms of deployment, in terms of the other software to manage it. But there's nothing at all for Chromebook. So, and that is the concept why we have the Chrome OS for education. Okay, so this is more about uh, another weapon that you can thinking about scale the access tool for education. Because there's no hard drive, so nothing to boost up. Eight second turn on, you can use whatever application you need, right? And no need to update anything because it's the automatic update to the browser, which means when there is a new version, it's already uploaded. You don't need to call the IT, hey, please update my version. No, no longer. <laughs> you do that, right, sometime, oh, I have the old version, so there's no more for, for that. And, the, and another thing that what I say, I mean, each tab of Chrome, we have like a sandbox for virus, so don't talk, I mean, don't think about the antivirus. And shareable, 
So you have the concept of shared device. If you have your secret in your device, you cannot share your notebook with the others, right? But I don't mind. I have my password lock. I can pass my Chromebook to you, and you sign in your account. Then all the information is yours, not mine, because I already signed out from my information, which means all of the content in my drive, in my mail, is gone when I sign out. So this is why I'm talking about shareable. That is share and save because my information is not, I mean, you cannot see my information when you log in. And this is the concept of why is this shareable device that we are working on. Okay. Okay, take a deep breath. Device part is gone, but there's a lot of professional development program that I would like to introduce. This keyword you can check on Google for education. And we have the certificate. So many certificate level, how to utilize Google technology in your teaching process. I cannot talk a lot. I mean, it's going to take a whole day for this. And Kun Aman is <laughs> about to ready to talk more on YouTube. But please go to google.com slash edu. And good news is we are so localized in Thai. Not all the country in this world that Google work on the localization and translation, but we have it in Thai. So, but not for this room, right? Tony Hong Nina, long by do, Nakata, me, Gan of Brom, me, Nurha, I like Mark my, Mark or Nid, when you put Cam and Nanam, Chong Tang, he hype do, the day long cup be do, I mean, a right is a Martian Ru, that eat, yer, Louis, Nakar, for gentlemen to be certificate, like level, me, Gandian Ru, Tang Tang, me update my, yer, Louis, Nakaka, search, die, Louis, Google for educator group, a tan unique group, do I make a pen? Okay, ka, a tan, Nanam, do one, no, who are me come time, a tan, 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 a ใครที่อยากได้เซอร์ติฟิเคทก็จะมีการสอบมีวัดระดับเป็นทางการได้เซอร์ติฟิเคทอีกส่วนหนึ่งก็คือการเป็นผู้นําชุมชนแห่งการเรียนรู้นะคะ It's we call Google Educator Group so Educator Group Google support activities บางส่วนในการที่จะให้ Educator Group leaders ของเราจัดอีเวนต์ในการที่จะแชร์ประสบการณ์ share how technology not just only Google is integrated in the teaching pedagogy and we have about more than 26 chapters throughout Thailand. And more information, you can also ask Ajahn San. Sometimes we have the event like this. We have the teachers to share. We learn and share. So I think that's the way that we can grow, um, uh, the, uh, grow together. So uh, Ajahn San can share you more about the, to, join the, to join the group as well. Because only Google alone, we are just the innovation company. So communities, if we have a strong community, we can learn together quite faster. Okay. Ajahn, can you see it? It's a lot. I try my best. And actually, this is just half of what we would like to share. Virtual reality. 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 Vir
Okay, you guys ready? Pick up your devices and look in your cardboard. What is that? Oh, I see a shark. shark. Whoa! 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 It allowed us to go somewhere we wouldn't normally be able to go. Are we in China? This is the Great Wall of China. We got to see the place itself so we could actually understand what she was talking about. How long would it take to walk the length of the Great Wall of China? So much more enriching than just showing them a picture or just having them read about it. This device can actually make us go to places that we've never been before. It brings the lesson to you. You have to see it for yourself to believe it. There's so much other places to see, so you know that it's never going to end. It's not just only what's new technology. If you look into the video, it's how the teaching pedagogy is also add during the new technology is coming up. Some question is asked for the kids to explore the answer. Like, okay, how you find the wall, how distance. So I think that's more important than I would like to share for everybody here, right? So Google already improved lots of product and uh, we have like lots of things. We have Google Street View. We have so many things, right? And the cardboard is already launched for a while, and you can explore more. That expe uh, expedition is more about how to integrate about student and teachers' engagement. And the keyword is how to motivate the kids to having fun to learn. So that's the beautiful of technology. It's not about what's new, what's new, but how we can utilize it in a beautiful way. So that's all about it. Because right now, it's not just 20th century where the teacher, OK, today I have something to tell you. <laughs> Everybody can access the same information as myself as well. So that's why I'm just giving you the keywords. Say, go back to see Google for Education Expedition. So you just have the keywords, and then you can find a lot more information, even the Google certificate or whatever. So same thing for the kids is no longer. So we just leave them to explore. Hey, that's why I say it's a secret. So you find a secret by yourself. <laughs> it's a secret weapon. And that's all about individualized learning. If we make it more interesting, if how can we motivate the students to have a self-learning attitude? If you have fun of exploring the things, thinking about answer the questions. So that's our goal. And that's why technology and device and Google is just a small part of it. We just the technology to be a tool to access to the information. But to make a success, yeah, it's about everything that Oh, this is a lot of responsibility for the teachers right now. OK. One thing, when we motivate them to be on the device, do we have a good content for them? Do we have a good creative content for them to feel like, oh, education content is so cool. I would like to continue learning more. Not like that, right? Everybody feel like, oh, I don't want to keep watching the education content. It's so boring. And the kids leave away and finding something else. <clears throat> And today, that's why I have Kun Aman here. <laughs> We're going to tell you a secret of how to create an education content to be more creative and interesting. And that's why I feel this is more important on what I can update you. That's why, yes, he's here. <laughs> so before I go, I have a couple things to update you a bit. And that's why Ajahn Horosuang is so uh, exciting with my device earlier. Google create lots of platform. Android, Chrome, and it's already announced um, in I.O. that Google Play is coming into Chrome. So there's a lot of big change. This is huge for uh, in the technology world. It's more about the ability of offline and the ability of accessing lots of application and content. So Chrome is not just only a Chromebook. So in the future, we have <coughs> Chromecast, if you heard about it, Chromebook for meeting. Uh, Chrome kiosk, there's a lot of ability that you can control from one click. So there's a lot of Chrome platform, which is the cloud based. It's going to change the world. If you're thinking about the signage, in the past, it was just a printing, right? And it's so expensive. And now it's developed to be one computer per signage when you see. But with Chrome, 
there is a technology that you can control. If you're thinking about like central or when you go to the department store and you have a lot of signage, we can control individual signage to show a different display based on the target audience. So that is how the futures will be. So that's I giving you an example. This is a lot, a lot, a lot more. Okay. So this is a sum up of we invest a lot in in education, over 60 million US in a lot of program. So that's why I would like to motivate Thai people to also be a part of consume this budget. Like we have the scholarship, we have like a lot of program, and please explore and join our program as well. Like this, I mean, Google Sign Fair is open for APAC. There's a lot of program that you can search for it. Okay, so in summarization, we empower the school with the scalable device, with a lot of zero touch deployment things. That's how we can scale and manage the school to easy to manage and utilize technology in, in the school or the university. We empower the teachers with the tools that are easy to use, low cost, no cost. <laughs> There's a lot of things that we provide for free. And yeah, how we can empower the student to enjoy with it. So that's the next part that we are talking. I'm just afraid that you get lost along the way. I'm keep talking. <laughs> this is just example, right? There's so many weapons already, and there's much more. Much more that you can search. <laughs> There's more that you can also find out. But the most important part is how we can utilize to reach the goal, right? So next, that's going to be a part that, OK, I can't find thing. One thing that we have to learn how our life is changed by technology. So look at this video. Okay, Google, play the morning playlist. Okay, playing morning playlist. Okay, Google, play music in all rooms. Okay, Google, I'm listening. Your flight to Portland is delayed by 30 minutes. Change my dinner reservation tonight from 7.30 to 8. Your reservation at Andina is now confirmed for 8 p.m. Hey Google, text Louise, flight is delayed, dinner moved to eight. Okay, message sent. Morning. Morning. Hey Google, turn the lights on in Kevin's room. I thought you finished that already. Um, I forgot. Okay Google, what's apples in Spanish? Manzanas. Hey Google, has my package shipped? Yes, it's already shipped. It'll arrive tomorrow. Ooh, is that for me? Maybe. Interesting. Okay, Google, how many stars are in our galaxy? Well, there are about 100 to 400 billion stars, according to space.com. Which star is the closest? According to NASA, the nearest star system is Alpha Centauri. Can you show me what it looks like on the TV? Okay, Google, how's the traffic from Pebble Rock School to the airport? Your normal route has heavy traffic. There's a faster one that'll take about 35 minutes. I've sent it to your phone. Okay. Let's go. Dad. Hey, Google. What's on the calendar today? The first event is Space Day at Kevin's school. It starts at 8 a.m. Space Day. Are you ready, buddy? Ready. Let's go. Come on. Okay, Google. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, ค่ะเพราะฉะนั้นโลกแห่งอนาคตอย่างที่บอก there's gonna be so many things and what I just show you is not just a dream it's gonna happen soon that's called Google Home where Google is integrated the device with all the technologies like when the kids asking to show the screen is also using a Google uh, Chromecast to show the screen and all the question and, and answer. So there's a lot more. So you can figure it out like lots of new things. But here is why I would like to end up with this. It's over time a bit that technology is still, the innovation is keep coming and coming. 
but how we, I mean, we can divide into like, hey, this is the skill in the future needed. And this is a part of, I'm leaving you the questions. This is a situation I just share you where the kid just asks so many questions through, okay, Google. What is the role and responsibility for everybody, not just only the teachers? As a dad, as a mom, you know, like how can we also build all this skill? How to have like the way of thinking so that they can have the creativity, having a problem solving, which is not a skill need to survive in the future. The way of working, that's why Google have like a lot of chair culture. We're talking about collaboration skill. That's why our document allow everybody to share and work together and commence for a better result of work. We already have the tools, but how can we build the information literacy and ICT literacy to prevent something that we so scared of, right? And the last thing, as I just showed you, the new world of living, how can we have this kind of skill to living in this world in terms of the, and the city, uh, digital citizenship, personal social responsibility in the world. So um, that just the introduction part for me and hope, I mean, I'm not sure how do you feel about finding new things. I mean, just, I'm not sure we have time for question Q&A now because I have even a lot more interesting things for you guys, which I also have my colleague, Kun Amanda Yal, just gonna talk about the creativity. So for my session, that's the introduction. So use all the keyword and search more, and that's the coolest weapon that I would like to share to you. All right, um, thank you for my session. Thank you so much, hope you like it. <laughs> if you have any questions, you can ask Kun Suparida later. Uh,